Test. Yep. There you go. Uh, first of all, thank you all for being here today. We're here this afternoon because we've identified a recent rash of juvenile offenses that have been occurring over the last week or two, probably even further. But we want to reassure our community that we are vigilant, we are aware, and we are staying the course. Just last week, we put out a notification to everyone identifying the crime trend of violent homicides, armed robberies, non-fatal shootings. We are down in those offenses. However, there is an increase in auto burglaries and auto thefts. And more importantly, over the last week or two, we've identified juveniles becoming more brazen in these particular crimes. And as such, we would like to make sure our citizens know that we are aware and we are staying the course. We've arrested several juveniles over the last few weeks. For example, last Friday, we identified an 18-year-old and two adults that were in an armed carjacking vehicle that occurred in the 5th District. 3rd District officers made that arrest. 7th District arrested as many as 10 juveniles responsible for armed robberies, an attempted murder, as well as possession of stolen property. Second district officers also arrested four juveniles and an adult for a string of auto burglaries, as well as auto theft, in which a 13-year-old was found to be driving a stolen vehicle. So as such, we are staying the course in identifying these men and women of the New Orleans Police Department are working every day in identifying these individuals that are responsible for these crimes. But not, it does not stop there. We're having conversations with our city department agencies. We're having conversations with our partners in the criminal justice system about what are other alternative decisions or alternative outcomes that we can have as a result of arresting not just these juveniles, adults as well. What can we do better? Because we know incarceration is not the answer to everything. Our men and women are even taking a liberty as a part of our community engagement initiative to, to interact, have conversation with the parents of some of our juvenile offenders, offering them some youth services or other alternatives to better themselves. And a couple of these juveniles have taken us up on that opportunity and have pressed forward because they want to go in the right direction. The mayor, myself, and our team is dedicated to making sure that this is a safer city in New Orleans. So we're working with our partners to make sure that we press forward. We are aware of these juvenile criminal activities and we're pressing forward and identifying them and bringing them to justice and hold them accountable. Not just through incarceration again, through whatever alternative measures that we can take to move forward. I am a parent. I know how difficult it can be to watch your child. And we're just asking you as the parents to be more accountable when addressing your kids, making sure they are where they're supposed to be at all times, making sure that they are accountable for their actions at all times. And as a department, we will work collectively with our citizens and with our partners to make sure we are all held accountable. Questions? So, Travers? Um, we're told that it could be, I guess, four loosely defined crews across the city from Algiers to Desire to parts of Uptown that are essentially working together when I say crews like kids and teenagers that are responsible for a lot of these car thefts and carjackings. Is that accurate or inaccurate? I, I would not say there's four specific crews. I believe there's a rash of juveniles across our spread across the city. Uh, all parts of our city have felt the effect of these juvenile cr crimes over the last couple of weeks. So there's no specific groups or anything of that nature but there are a, a number of juveniles that are committing these crimes. Paul, what can you tell us about the carjacking of Cindy Wynn's father on the wire uh, on Sunday around two? And uh, are these the same juveniles, because there's video available uh, that, that you speak of that have been creating these, these issues uh, in, in New Orleans East? Because there was another one Saturday, uh, early Saturday morning as well at Bundy 
So every week, our team uh, have a meeting. We, we meet with our local, state, and federal partners to discuss violent crime, violent crime trends, in which we can see how we can move better, have a better investigation with this. And I believe that we have done the right thing so far. I think we have not connected any dots per se with any of these crimes, but we do know there are some juveniles. Uh, it takes some investigation. It takes some follow-up to determine if they are all connected. Uh, with regard to Council Member Wynn's uh, father, uh, no more than what is already out there. Uh, this is a very unfortunate incident. Uh, he was accosted while being in his vehicle, or while uh, in his vehicle, and these what we appear, what we believe to be juveniles, both were armed, and that is concerning. Uh, I, I attribute that to some of the auto burglaries in which we have weapons in the auto, uh, in these vehicles during the auto burglaries that are being placed out on the street. Uh, the juveniles have just become brazen, and we have to be bold in our actions as we have been with our deployment. That has been working great thus far. Amanda? Um, can you elaborate on the effort to interact with parents and students in the community and is that what the NOPD sees as the key to reducing juvenile crime or is there something additional? I think uh, we as a department, we have to take the initiative to be uh, a part of the community. This is, we are a part of the community, just as I said from day one. So we have to take the initiative to get our kids in the right direction point them in the right direction, we help them with some programs and services that we can offer them outside of incarceration. Oh, um, I was just going to ask, if I understand correctly, there's a, an upswing in juvenile crime, but it's mainly like auto burglaries and I guess juveniles found with stolen vehicles. Is it any other crimes that juveniles, there's been an upswing in juveniles being the, the offenders? Within, within recent weeks, we believe that on um, robberies, uh, juveniles have been uh, active in armed robberies, and that is the cause for concern. And that's the reason I'm standing before our citizens right now to let them know that we do realize it has escalated from auto burglaries to auto thefts to now perhaps armed robberies, and we are standing the course. We made several arrests over the last couple of weeks, and we will continue to follow up our investigation, which will result in more arrests. <coughs> We all know that you know, there's a push to find alternatives to incarceration for juveniles, but we speak to officers who express frustration at arresting the same juveniles over and over. Uh, oftentimes, juveniles upon arrest are not being detained, but they're not getting alternative services either. So how do you deal with the frustration of officers on the front lines? Uh, just had a meeting with our command staff today, uh, asking them to stay the course. We will stay the course. That is what we're sworn to do, to stay the course. We have to stay vigilant and making sure that our citizens are safe. Uh, it is up to me, which I've already started these conversations with other partners within the criminal justice system to see how can we hold them more accountable? How can we make sure that these juveniles are being uh, held in a standard that, it expect, that is ex expected of them when they have been identified to being the ones responsible for criminal activity? Right. Just, hold on, Travers. Jeff, just a couple more questions, no. guys. Jeff from the what Advocate. Do you, what do you attribute the increase to, uh, and particularly why why would juveniles be uh, particularly involved in these crimes at this point rather than a year ago? Or Honestly, I do not know. I've, I've always attributed a lot of this uh, to social media, uh, smart devices, video games, things of that nature. It could be, it could be a number of answers to that question. We really do not know, but it is our, ju our duty and our job to identify any of those that are responsible for committing these crimes. Are the, state, Sean, are, the, are the state's criminal justice reforms failing? Because it's our understanding that kids, to piggyback Michael's question, keep getting arrested over and over and over again. And there are cases where you guys have picked up a kid on Wednesday and he's doing the same thing on Thursday mm -hmm. because I understand what you're saying about alternative to incarceration, but are the criminal justice reforms really serving as a roadblock right now because it seems like there's no consequence for juvenile offenders? I want to say that there's a, uh, it is a roadblock. I can't say that there are those, there are some individuals that should be uh, incarcerated because that is the only thing, unfortunately, that they may understand. But then there are those who should not. There are, there are some kids that are actually looking for some sort of opportunity. 
So it is our duty, our job, along with our partners to identify these individuals and get them the help that is needed. Last question, guys. Chief, um, can you quantify for us when you say that there's an upswing in juvenile crime in terms of, of numbers? Um, and secondly, is it too strong to say that, that New Orleans has a juvenile crime problem? Because that's one of the issues that, that, that Council Member Wynn was talking about on her Facebook um, on Sunday. So, so far this year, we've arrested as many as 238 juveniles from crimes ranging, ranging from car burglary to uh, uh, murder. So to really put a number on how many of these crimes that has been uh, committed so far in 2019 that the juveniles are, are responsible for, I cannot say. But you, if you look at some of our uh, investigations you, and some of the video press releases that we put out, it appear to be juveniles that are going around pulling on door handles. So there's some, there's some concern about that. But I cannot give you a specific number on that. But it, in terms of, uh, I'm just trying to make sure I'm not overstating what, what you're saying is, do we have a juvenile crime problem in this city? I think juveniles are bold and brazen this day. I think they're very bold and I think they're very brazen. That is why we have to be bold in our actions to let them know that this will not be tolerated, this will not be accepted. Just a clarity question to end it here from Jeff. What was that? Uh, sorry, in, in response to Travers' question, I couldn't, I didn't catch whether you said criminal justice reform has been a roadblock or has not has been not a been roadblock. Has not been a roadblock, has not. All right, guys, thank you very much. Thank Appreciate you. it.